Hello everyone, welcome to this quick rundown of Shopify's district theme. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the elements of district's homepage. We'll show you what each element does and how you can use it to achieve great results on your store. So, first we need to download the theme. To do that, simply find district on the Shopify theme store and click on Try Theme. Then, come down here and click on Customize Theme, which will bring you to the Shopify editor. You can see, on the left side, the full list of elements that this theme provides you with. We'll start here, with the slideshow element. Here, you can set the width, choose whether or not to auto-rotate the slides, and change the length of time that each slide is displayed. Down here, you can alter the content for each of the slides. This is my header slide, where I can change the images for both desktop and mobile views. I can change the heading here. And here I can change the alignment of my text and button. You can do the same with the other two slides in your slideshow, here. OK, the next element is the Featured Grid, which you can use to promote your featured collections. On District's default setting, this is two large images and three smaller images. Again, you can change the name of the grid, alter the spacing and set how many images you want to show per line. You can change the placement of the text to set it below the image, or over the image, like this. You can alter all of these images separately, depending on what you want for your store. Here's the lookbook preview, which comes with a heading, button label, and button link. Below that, we have the featured collection with text. You should use this to display your best collection and the products within it. You can change what the button says to where it links and the number of products shown in the grid. We recommend keeping it to a relatively low number so as not to overload your customer. The Featured Collection section is pretty much the same thing, just without the text. The Shop the Look section is a great inclusion. You can use it to show real-life photos of your products, which you can then link to another page on your store. You can also link it to your Instagram account to show how people are using your products in real life. Then, set how many images to show in the row, on desktop, and mobile view. The latest updates section is perfect for showing news stories and articles from your blog. You can change the title and the button of this section. Also, you can set how many posts to show and change other details about their display, such as alignment, and what they show on the home page. The custom content section is your chance to display a video on your home page. You can use this as a promotional video about a product, but it's also good to use it as an about us section. This gives your store a more human presence. Change the alignment here, depending on which side you want it to display on your home page. You can paste the link to your YouTube video in here and set the width it plays at. Underneath there's also space for another image and text, great for a team photo and a mission statement. Down here you can change the footer, which will be the same on all pages of your store. There are four pre-made blocks here, which you can use in whatever way you want. This is traditionally the space where you'll want to have all of your contact information 
as well as some links to other parts of your store. We recommend keeping your blocks similar to the ones that are laid out in the district theme template. Lastly, you can add any section you want with the add section element. Simply choose from the selection here. I'll choose a map, which will be placed as the last element on my homepage. Once you've added your elements and customized everything the way you want it, be sure to check out Mobile View to make sure everything works the way it's supposed to. Scroll down the page and make sure everything is working well on mobile, before heading to the lower left corner, clicking Theme Actions, and then, Preview Theme. Again, scroll down and check that all of your elements look great, and link to the right places, on desktop. Finally, to check on mobile view, right-click your page and select Inspect. Click on Toggle Device Toolbar up here to see what your finished page looks like in mobile view. OK, that's all for now. Thanks for checking out this walkthrough of the Shopify District theme homepage with Pagefly. Take care, and we'll see you next time.